Well, it's been an interesting football season for everybody, but maybe even more so for Stanford quarterback Davis Mills. I'm going to tell you why coming up in just a second, and I'm going to show you five throws that tell me everything I need to know about where Davis Mills' game is at. It's coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Today, I want to talk about Stanford quarterback Davis Mills. I did a video on Davis last year talking about whether he might be the next great quarterback in the Pac-12. If you're interested in seeing it, I will put that video card right up here, and I will put the link in the description down below. But I love the way he threw the vertical ball. Now, this season has been very strange for Davis Mills. He has, A, missed the first game of the season. Obviously, everybody's had the COVID issue, but he missed the first game of the season because he tested positive for COVID, only to find out at the end of the following week, there was a mistake in the testing procedure. I believe it was at the lab, but he wasn't actually positive. And so he missed a game because of a false positive on a test due to a clerical issue and wasn't able to practice that whole next week. So finally, he got his first game versus Colorado. Now we're going to take a look at five throws from that Colorado game. Tell me where Davis's Mills game is at and then where he's going with his game because I think he is, like I said, one of the best vertical throwers in the Pac-12. Before we do that, make sure if you haven't done it yet, if you're new to the channel, you subscribe and ring that bell. Get notified every time we have new content coming out that might help your game. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to look at Davis Mills and leave me a comment down below. Love to hear your comments on Pac-12 football, Davis Mills, Stanford, Cal, anything about it. Big game week this week coming up. Rivalry week, although the Apple Cup is also canceled. But it's a big week in the Pac-12. Teams kind of sorting themselves out, teams that can make it to the games. Make sure you share this video out. Teammates, family, friends, fans, coaches, I'm here to help trying to improve your football knowledge, show you some of the stuff that I picked up over 11 years pro and 20 plus years as a broadcaster. And so share this video out. We can help as many young athletes as possible. Now, let's take a look at Davis Mills. These are five throws from that Colorado game. I'm going to talk to you about the reads. I'm going to talk to you about where the broadcasters blew it on one of these throws. And we'll talk about where his game is at and where he's going. Let's hit the film. So first play, play action. I love the design on this play. <clears throat> You're going to see Mills reverse out, fake handoff here. You're going to go full slide this way with the offensive line. Watch this fantastic block by Austin Jones getting a cut on this defensive end. So love that up front. Line play is awesome. Then you're going to get point man looking like he's coming down to block. Outside release, go route to clear the zone. Quick flat or shoot route. And then off of this block, you're going to see a bench route. Backside running the over in the classic waggle approach. Now, when I saw this in the game, Davis Mills is really good at pers pushing the ball vertically down the field. But I saw him make this move in the game. He's eventually going to end up trying to throw to this bench route. Remember, got the clear and the shoot right now. He looks to the shoot first. It's not there, so he goes for this route, and he misses it wide over the top. Remember, I told you, he was held out due to COVID. So he missed that first game. Then he missed an entire week of practice. And so he is rusty coming into this game. It shows up right here on this throw. Comes out, play action fake. Look at this cut. This is awesome. I'm going to run that back just so you can see it in slow-mo because it's fantastic. Watch this cut, running back, boom, get that big guy down. Awesome. And then Mills gets his feet set. He's already come off of this throw because he's got a defender over the top of it, linebacker chasing, and he's waiting for this to happen. You can see as he sets his foot in the ground, throws, he's got this window. He can stick that ball in there. But because he's rusty, a little hesitant to pull the trigger, he ends up high with this football. Sticks it, decides it, and 
over the top and misses. Now, Mills, like I said, is a really accurate passer in the vertical passing game. So for him to miss that ball down the field, it's an intermediate throw, but for him to miss that ball at that range with protection, you could see the rust in his game. Missed that first game, missed a whole week of practice coming out. That was the ninth play of the game. I'm thinking, okay, he's going to get back on track. Let's take a look at the next throw. All right, so this throw is right in Davis Mills' wheelhouse. You have trips to the field, Colorado showing one high, but over on the hash. That should be your first key as a quarterback. Looks potentially like man, but he is looking in at the ball. These guys, to me as a quarterback, look like zone players. Now watch, as we move forward just a little bit, you get the shift. Linebackers mug up. Linebacker steps into the hole. And you're starting to get a little declare, this corner coming off the ball. Well, what you're going to end up getting here is a two invert. So he's going to be a half player over here. He's going to be a half player over here. This is the safety who's going to buzz the flat. So he's going to be the flat player in this cover two. And you're going to get a boundary corner cat. So pressure from that side. You're going to bring pressure with both these backers, and then they're going to slant to the field with the defensive line. This is a simulated pressure. They're bringing five, so it is really a pressure because you're getting pressure here. But it's to make the quarterback feel like there's more pressure. You're going to get zone players dropping out and zone player to the flat here. Stanford has three vertical on here. Boom. Three vert. One, two, three three up the field versus cover two you couldn't have called a better play especially with the corner hanging out wide in that invert look this right here is your throw davis mills throws this ball really well but again just the 12th play now three plays later he's rusty and so let's watch him as he drops here Colorado trying to give him a look like they're not actually coming. Change up his look on him. But at the snap of the ball, you can see it. There's your rotation. Safety to the flat, corner high. Flat player on this side from the safety inside. Corner cat. Good job by this back, recognizing linebacker pressure, picking it up. And you can see one, two, three, four with the fifth rusher coming from the boundary. This man is going to try to run through the vertical route with Mills' inside receiver. But this is all wide open green grass in here. And so this should be an automatic throw for Mills, and he should stroke this thing. He sees this safety on the hash headed away. He knows he's got the corner outside and nobody else over the top here. So this would be a middle of the field open read for him. As he drops, hits five. One quick hitch, and he's going to put it up. Now look at the separation. You've already got a yard of separation, and he's going away. Again, nobody in the middle of the field, so this ball should be thrown over the top, leading this player back to the middle, away from danger. Instead, Mills hurries his throw a little bit and misses on the backside. Now you could argue that you're trying to make a back shoulder throw here, but there's no reason for a back shoulder throw. I'll show you from the end zone, his head, he knows that safety's on the hash. And so I think he's just missing behind this. Now let's watch where he's looking as he throws this ball. I feel good in my read. He's looking at that safety. He knows that guy is off the hash. So he knows that middle of the field is wide open. He has his vertical route coming Right here over the top, this defender is going to be in chase. So as a quarterback, you know that as he turns back to the field, he sees his guy. He's got him beat. Just got to throw a good ball. And you can see from behind, 
he knows this guy's got it over the top. Just put this ball over the top, let your receiver run to it, give him a ball that he can run with. Instead, he back shoulders it and misses. That is really uncharacteristic for Davis Mills. He's really good on those vertical balls, and he's a really pretty passer at that, usually very accurate, throwing the ball, forcing it downfield. And so you can tell right away, first two throws on those vertical-type passes or intermediate passes, that he has rust on him. He's not in chemistry. He's not in lockstep with his receivers, and so he's not comfortable on his game. Now, he ended up throwing 55 passes in this game, but I'm going to show you quintessential Davis Mills with this next throw. You've got bunch to the top of the field, single receiver down low. Single receiver down low is going to run the under. Your bunch, you are going to get vert, release, vert to the opposite hash, and vert up that hash seam. Colorado is trying to disguise a three buzz look here. This is your nickel Sam, so if you consider him a linebacker here for buzz, he's going to buzz to the flat. Corner's going to bail in three. He's going to be deep thirds. He's going to bail deep thirds. This safety is going to insert as the hook player, but as they release vertical, he's going to carry this route through that zone. So it's a perfect matchup for Davis Mills because what he's doing – this player is coming downhill to play that hook, but they're going to run right past him in this zone. This is, I think, Davis Mills' best ball is this vertical ball, the seam balls, and the go ball. And so watch him here. Play action fake, checks the safety. So right now he's checking the safety to make sure he's staying home. Safety's on that hash, so as they run at him, this is going to clear that corner. Now this is going to get that vertical seam. Hits five, one hitch, and rips it into a tight window down the field, throws an absolute strike. And a great job fighting for extra yards here. One more time, I'll let you watch it. Slow-mo so you can appreciate it. Great play action, check your safety, drop, Hitch, rip it. And that's how it should be done. So when I think of Davis Mills, that's how I think of him throwing that vertical ball. He throws that beautiful vertical ball down the field, has perfect velocity, kind of that two ball right over the top into tight coverage. And that's the kind of thrower he is. You can see that he's off his game and that he's rusty, doesn't have that chemistry with his receivers because he hasn't been allowed to practice for the last week. I think... Going forward during the season, teams are going to see more of that ball from Davis Mills than they see of that off-target, bad miss behind, that kind of thing. Let's take a look at a couple more passes. So here's the next throw as I watch it, where you can tell right off the bat that he is not in full season form. Stanford is going with four verts here. They're going to go vert down the sideline here. They're going to go vert across the hash here. And then that seam player down the middle and our boundary player straight up the sideline. Colorado gets into a cover six. We talked about cover six just the other day. I will put a card at the top of the screen. But what that means is you have a roll-up corner here, a half player here. So he can come off the hash because he knows he's got support from inside. This player is going to have to cut any route that crosses his face. So is this route gets vertical, this safety is going to have to leave. The outside release should take this corner with it. What that leaves is this player getting vertical through that seam. Now, I'm not going to put this one entirely on Davis Mills because this receiver allows himself to get rerouted way too wide, and he lets this corner cover two guys. As a receiver, you have to know where your Sweet spot is. This safety is leaving. He's going to turn his back. I need to be right here for this throw. This receiver takes too long. And as Mills goes through his progression, he wants to bang that ball. He's keying this safety right now. 
He's looking at this guy. He knows that this route is going to pull him to the middle. And so he's not staring down this receiver. He expects this guy to win over the top and get into that seam for him. This corner can't do anything from back there if it, with a good ball. But this receiver allows himself to be rerouted and pushed outside, and it takes way too long. So that's partially on the receiver. You can see how he's being forced way outside. But Davis Mills is not in season form. You don't throw that vertical ball over 22 yards down the field, especially when you're throwing to the wide field like this. What he should do is see that his guy's getting rerouted and check down to the back right now. Once you're in form, once you're in rhythm, that's your move as a quarterback. Instead, he forces this in and almost gets picked. So really close to giving that ball away. And again, in part because a receiver ran the wrong route and in part because he's not in midseason form. By that point, he should have checked down to his back underneath, just pick it up with a check down. Finally, and here's a throw that every quarterback wishes they had back. I know I have personally missed this throw several times during my career, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But let me drop the route for you here first. You're going to have a go up the seam with an under route. You're going to have a go route on the outside and a sit down over the ball. Now, when I say a go route on the outside, most quarterbacks, when we're looking for a go route, we're expecting our receiver to outside release. So we're looking for this kind of release, and that's built into our timing on our drop. We don't expect to have to change up our drop and hit a guy in stride full sprint. In this case, Simi Fahoku tries to fight his way out here, but the DB does a great job of cutting him off. So he has to reroute and get vertical back inside. That throws off the timing on this route. Like I said, every quarterback has done this. When you're looking for that outside go route where you can swing it down the sideline of the field and your guy cuts back underneath, now it takes some accuracy and we have all overthrown this ball, which is exactly what happens here for Davis Mills. He drops. He knows he's got that matchup on the outside. And you can see, actually, this evolves to a cover four for Colorado. And these guys are just reading Mills' eyes. But he knows he's got that matchup, and he lets it rip. And he is just over the top. Now, the announcers were talking about how he missed that ball, and it shows rust. And, yeah, it shows rust. But I know quarterbacks who will miss this in game six or game seven the first time that they are faced with it because of the reroute. Watch, Fahoku tries to get outside. He can't. And now, when he gets in this battle here, it changes up his timing. Mills is still looking down the middle of the field, keying safeties. He's not seeing that. And so his rhythm is hit five, hitch, and throw to a guy who's got that outside release. Instead, Fahoku gets tied up and slows down just enough where it's off his rhythm for his normal distance on his throw, plus he's missed an entire week due to COVID. So you can see a lot of rust on Davis Mills. I expect him to be better this week in the big game. That vertical passing game, the screen game, trying to mismatch linebackers with running backs, and throwing the underneath stuff like standard West Coast is what Stanford does. And the vertical passing game especially suits Davis Mills. If you like what I did today, if you liked the review, and you haven't done it yet, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. Get all the X's and O's you want so you can check it out and be notified every time we have new videos coming out. Give me a thumbs up if you understand a little bit more about how this layoff and how that false positive affected Davis Mills' game. And leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I think he's going to be a really good quarterback. And again, like I said, that vertical ball is his specialty. So I expect him to get better every single week. Finally, share this video out. Teammates, family, friends, fans, coaches. We're trying to help you out with some inside football knowledge. 11 years pro playing the game at quarterback and 20 years broadcasting the game. I've picked up a little bit along the way. Hope you appreciated today's video. I appreciate you watching. Just wanted to help you out with a little bit of football breakdown, X's and O's. Hopefully improve your football IQ, maybe improve your football skills, and help make you a better player. Look forward to talking to you again soon.